Alright, in this video I will be going over the hotkeys for the uh, channel box right here. There are no uh, hotkeys for the uh, layer window uh, and also I will go over the hotkeys for the uh, timeline. But be, and uh, uh, I will also go over the hotkeys for the Augustine tool and, uh, and the uh, paint effects tool. The, uh, before I go over the uh, hotkeys for the channel box, I forget one more tool. Okay, it's one more hotkey. So if you hold on the letter O, left mouse click on it so all left mouse click you get a, a different menu for example if, let's say press the Q with the same select tool and select the object right click and choose face now I can select one face or two faces it doesn't matter and if I go up to texturing I mean polygon and edit mesh I can go down to cut faces tool here I can cut the faces Another way to do would be, uh, let me go back to select tool or press Q. If uh, you hold on the letter O and left mouse, you get this one right here. This one I can simply paint over it. Once I paint over the faces, now I have the cut tool. I can cut it, which is much faster. Okay, so letter O and hold on left mouse. If you hold on the middle mouse, you get the uh, UV tools. Okay. So that's another thing. And here's another, here's another uh, keyboard shortcut. If you hold on sh Shift O, right click, you get a totally different menu. Okay, so for example, right here, merge faces to center. It all comes up to center. That's the same thing as uh, as if I go go to select tool and go back up here, edit mesh, merge to center. So it's the same thing. Okay, so Shift O, right click, like that. Okay, so to review, if you hold on O, left mouse click, you get this tool. O, right mouse click, you get that. O, middle mouse click, like that. Okay, and then shift O, left mouse click, sorry, uh, right mouse click, like that. Now if you hold on U, left mouse click, you can get anything. Right mouse click, middle mouse click, or left mouse click, you can get anything. That's because you're not in the artisan tool. Let's go over the artisan tool. If I right click and choose object, select the object. Okay, now remember you can get the, these menus. Okay, remember you can get these menus by holding, how, holding down the letter H key and left mouse click. H, now H, left mouse click. Okay, now I'm going to go over rendering. Okay, so under rendering, let me select the object first. Go texturing. 3D paint tool, get the option box right here. Now you see the red X, that means you can't paint on it. The first thing you do is you scroll all the way down until you see the color and assign textures. You click on it. Just keep the default for now. You can put any size you want, let's say 1024 by 1024. But I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to assign. Now I can paint on it. Let me scroll up. Let's say I paint with bright yellow okay so let me go back double click on it I can get the yellow it done so now I can paint yellow okay if you want to paint reflection you hold on alt R okay now I have a reflection on so now I can paint okay okay let me uh, delete this object hit delete I'm going to create a new object So right now if I get say I paint Okay I have to go back go to texturing the paint tool now here's the reflection hold the alt R to disable it or enable right now it's disable alt R to enable let me show you right there if I paint on one side it shows up on the other side. If you want to uh to uh, to have the wireframe show up, you hold hold out Alt A. Now the uh, wireframe will hide Alt A again to show the wireframe. Okay, and if you want to fill the whole object with color, you hold out Alt F. It fills it pink. Yes, because right here under the flood, the color is pink. Okay, so if I pick let's say green, hit done Alt F. It fills up like that. Okay, if I now that I'm in the arson tool, you can tell it's an arson tool because yeah, I have a paintbrush. If I hold on like a U, left mouse click, 
okay yeah sometimes it doesn't work uh, out you can do over the object or away from it you get the arson tool okay here I can do smear and uh, well I don't have a good color let's say uh, erase the flood so if I go over here and smear it and smear it okay out you I mean sorry you left mouse say erase and now I can erase it like that okay U left mouse blur like that okay okay if I want to increase the brush size let me uh, get rid of the reflection out R if I in one okay if I want to uh, increase the brush size I hold down letter B as in boy and I left mouse drag it that's how I can increase it okay let me hold on U left mouse and go back to arson tool so now I can paint really big okay now another keyboard shortcut would be to hold down shift B okay that will be increasing the um, the area the spread of the um, paintbrush painting okay that's a little bit different from the um, that's a little bit different from the um, hold on the B key which is for brush tool like that okay so shift B is different from B uh, I'll show you what it does in the uh, artisan tool it's hard to tell on here okay next if I hold on control B I get the uh, paint effects uh, setting tool okay so if I can increase the size I can paint over it like that let's say much more bigger okay now the paint effects tool doesn't work on the arson tool right now because it's two different tools okay so if I hold on the letter N and left click on it that will be to change the uh, paint value but it, for some reason it doesn't really show up like that okay now the letter if I click on the uh, forward slash okay that's the pick color right there Again, I can't really um, see the difference. Like that, for example, let me try double click on this. Uh, let's say I want to flood the uh, color. Double click on green. And let's say I hold on forward slash. Click on orange. See, it doesn't change to orange. Like that. If, let's try and hold on forward slash and click on yellow. It won't work. However, if I go in here and I pick, let's say, orange I'll say yellow now it works so now I can flood it hit flood look from uh, yellow okay so the forward slash left mouse click it doesn't really work it's to sample it okay now let's go over the uh, uh, our, um, the paint effects tool which is different from the pair from the arson tool let me move over to get out of this tool you what you do is you need either select the uh, move tool or the select tool let me go into the move tool and move over. I'm going to create a polygon plane. Go into the uh, channel box. Click right here. Hold down left mouse. Set in the middle mouse drag it. Okay, so here I have it. So in order to go into the uh, paint effects tool, you press the, uh, the number 8 on your keyboard. Okay, there it is. If I press 8 again, I exit the key, um, I exit the, um, paint effects tool. So press 8, go into it. Now I need to open the visor. You go window. General editor. Visor. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the flowers. And I'm going to pick this one right here. You can double click on it, minimize it. Okay, now if I paint over it, okay, for some reason it doesn't do it. Let me try again. Okay, you can also click on it, right click, and apply brush. So now, yep. So now I can paint over it. Now let me show you what the, the difference is. Okay. First of all, let me hold on M and move it down, all the way down. So it's there. Move it 
m okay if I hold on the B I increase the brush size okay for example if I make it really small I paint it you know the flowers are very small if I hold on the B and left mouse drag it to the right I make it much bigger that's what you know, the letter B is okay so now let's let me show you what um shift B does if I hold on shift B now remember I said that's the spread of the uh, brush so if I hold on shift B and left mouse drag it so now if I try paint over it notice that the flowers are much more widely spread around okay rather than concentrate in one area for example again you know, let me hold on shift B and left drag it to very small drag it to the left and so now if I paint it you can s tell that they form in a line where they all spread out so next will be uh, if I hold down the little M and left mouse drag okay you can tell the wing gets high higher so if I paint on it so now if I try to look at it see how they are floating above the ground right there okay so I can press 5 on my keyboard so now I can tell they are floating above the ground okay so that's the whole down little M and left mouse drag let's bring it down all the way down right about there and paint on it like that and since right now I'm in the paint effects tool I can hit control B that would be to uh, go into paint effects brush settings this is the same thing as if I hold down the letter B so if I increase this so now I paint okay now I lost the, uh, the tool. I can go back right here. Okay. I would say if you notice that if I go back to this tool, I would be into awesome tool. For example, if I do it this, well, sometimes it comes back. Okay. So right now, because of the global scale, which is 2.16, if I hold, hold down a little B, and left mouse drag it. See how your number gets smaller right here? B, left mouse drag, the number gets much bigger. Okay. If I paint it, it's going to be really huge.